The top two rugby union clubs in Scotland locked horns on Saturday. It was Gala versus Melrose, a Borders derby with plenty at stake. The winners were guaranteed top spot in the Premiership. Stuart Cameron reports from Netherdale. Discipline was always going to be a key factor, and in the first minute, Gala gave away a penalty, which Joe Helps kicked from halfway. Referee Graham Wells had his work cut out when things got feisty, and four yellow cards in the first half were dished out. But in between the fighting, some rugby actually broke out. This run from Mark Robertson, one of the few highlights in the first period. Ewan Scott equalised with a penalty for Gala before Todd Pierce was sent to the bin. But while he was off the park, Melrose won a penalty following a break by Perry Parker and helps gave Melrose the lead. In the second half, Callum Anderson made plenty of yards with some potent sprints up the park, while Gala's pack were making ground in a different way. This drive leading to another penalty, which Scott kicked. Just past the hour, Chris Ald got the first try of the game for the Maroons, and they held the lead until two minutes from time when this happened. It's all Melrose at the moment. The pick and go here from the Melrose Park. They're practically on the Gala try line. They're still driving it forward here, Melrose. Gala 11, Melrose 6. Oh, and they've got the try. They've managed to squeeze through for Melrose. Who was the man that got his big Perry Parker? That's crashed over for the try. Well, well, well. Two minutes to go here. It's all square. It's Gala 11. It's Melrose 11. Has this title chase taken another turn? Joe helps right in front of the post with this conversion kick. That kick goes over and Melrose now in front here at Netherdale. The black and yellows held out for the win, which put them top. We've, we've got a game in hand, and but again, it's it's still incredibly disappointing because this is the one that we, you know, we wanted to capitalise on and, and, and force on to kind of win, win, to be honest. But again, just get back down and choose the night and just keep pushing. It's one game at a time. We keep winning, it keeps the pressure on them. I mean, they, they have that game in hand, but we keep winning, they have to keep winning. I mean, it, 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 unfortunately, it's out of our hands, but we're going to do as much as we can to keep the pressure on them. In the only other game in the Premiership which survived the weather, Hoyk narrowly lost up at Stirling County, with Nicky Walker scoring the Greens' only try. The National League games involving Borders clubs were all wiped out, but Jed Forrest got a bonus point win at home to Kirkcaldy to still lead the way in that division. Congratulations to Berwick Rugby Club, who gained promotion into East League One after their win at Leith on Saturday, the first border team to get promoted this season. Finally, Scotland's Seven squad had a disappointing tournament at the IRB Seven circuit in Las Vegas. They were knocked out of the cup competition and lost in the bowl semi-final to Kenya. Selkirk's Lee Jones scored Scotland's only try in that game. Stuart Cameron, ITV News.